from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering IBM Think. Brought to you by IBM. Welcome back to the Cube. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of IBM Think 2020, the digital experience. We're getting to talk to the IBM executives, their customers, and their partners, where they are around the globe. Really happy to bring back to the program one of our Cube alumni, Michelle Peluso. She is the Senior Vice President of Digital Sales and Chief Marketing Officer for all of IBM. Michelle, thanks so much for joining, you, joining us. Thank you so much, sir. It's great to have you as we get ready for Think 2020. Boy, M Michelle, uh, you know, working for you know a big company like IBM, I can only imagine how much current global activities have impacting you. Uh, anybody, if you turn on TV, you know, the, the ads that you're seeing are obviously have a very different tenor uh, than than what we were seeing uh, be before this happened. And the, you know, the focus of Think, of course, you know, really centers around uh, what is happening, how you're helping IBM customers mm -hmm. part through there. So, give us a little bit of insight as to you know, how much the team has had to, you know, rapidly move towards the, the new reality. Well, look, our company has been very focused on a couple of major priorities. First of all, our people, keeping them safe and healthy and thinking about what are we learning from all this? How do we use new tools in different ways? How do we work in agile ways that will outlast even this current crisis? Secondly, of course, our clients, we have pivoted hard to the essential offerings for recovery and transformation our clients need most right now. Things like business continuity, things like enabling Watson to engage all your customers virtually, things like supply chain resiliency, things like increased agility on the cloud, uh, health and human services. These are new offerings, new bundles that we know our clients need most right now. And so we've been pivoting hard. Um, third thing, as a marketer, of course, I've been very focused on how does the brand show up in this moment? How do we think about this cadre of events we used to do in person, how do we transform and think about generating demand in a virtual world, really improving the end-to-end -end digital experiences of everything we do. And of course, lastly, it's about how do we help create a cure? How do we help uh, make sure that we speed this process along? So we've done a lot from Devin, you know, taking supercomputing power and really applying it to the fight to find cures, find vaccines. Um, we have donated things like Watson Assistant so that governments can get access to free chatbots to help their customers with knowledge and information about COVID-19. So lots of things we're doing across all those fronts. It's certainly been a time of really rapid transformation. And the most important thing we can do is listen and, and pivot quickly. Yeah, really important points, Michelle. Uh, listening mm -hmm. to customers. I'm, I'm curious, you know, what are you hearing from customers? Obviously, you know, they have lots of challenges uh, and therefore it probably has changed a little bit how they think about who they partner with, you know, who they go to to be a trusted uh, you know, partner in these times. So, you know, what, what feedback are you getting from customers? How do they look at the relationship with, with IBM and your ecosystem uh, that might yeah. be a little different than before? Well, we're talking to customers more than ever, as you can imagine. And I, I think we have seen um, seven offerings, seven things that our clients really are learning going through this experience and need help with. Um, and those range, as I, I mentioned earlier, from supply chain continuity and resiliency to the new cybersecurity landscape. There's so many different and unique cyber risks right now. Virtual teaming, virtual work from home, business continuity and resiliency, increased agility on the cloud, um, uh, things like you know, making sure that we're supporting the health and human services of our people. Uh, so those are some of the examples of what matters most of clients right now, virtually engaging with customers with Watson. So those are the things that we have pivoted hard to make sure that we help our clients with the essential process of recovery and transformation because there isn't going, there's no back to normal. I mean, we're very convinced that this is a rethink and think 2020 is coming at the perfect time as businesses start to slowly reopen their doors. Uh, you know, it's going to be a very important conversation with our clients on how we accelerate recovery and transformation. And transformation is important because we have learned a lot and there are some things that we need to go back and improve. Um, and there are some lessons we've learned that we can you know, take with us into this sort of new world. So it's um, a challenging time for sure, um, but it's also one that is ripe with opportunities. And I've seen so much creativity and so much dedication uh, as we, you know, we had to remake Think in 60 days. 
a totally new platform, you know, new capabilities, new content, and and at 3x the volume. So the teams have done a remarkable job, and I'm excited for the conversation. What what I'm curious what you what you're hearing is customers that are you know starting or in the midst of that journey. Is the global pandemic is it accelerating what they're doing? Is it stalling uh, them? Because no, it's they're, absolutely they're, they're not accelerating. It's going, absolutely so. accelerating. You know, and I think it, it's really two things. One is how does the team operate? Um, and you know, I've been very passionate <laughs> for my entire career about agile as a discipline, small cross-functional teams aligned on a mission, shared values, really have an incredible ability using the agile rituals to prioritize and to move quickly and to optimize. That is more important than ever before. That is what is enabling kind of this more rapid cycle, to, you know, cycles we're seeing and, and, and that I think are critical. What should we be taking as, as lessons and you know, new practices uh, that will continue uh, in the future? Well, from a client perspective, I think we're going to see where, where digital has always sort of been, you know, mission critical. I think there's going to be incredible and continued, uh, you know, rapid acceleration to a digital environment. And that's not just outside in. What, you know, do we have a good mobile app? Do we have a good web experience? That's inside out. How do we digitize the, you know, the, the call center so that customers can get virtual answers with chatbots? How do we digitize and use AI to improve HR, supply chain, oper fundamental you know, manufacturing, operational procedures. So that's one thing I think will be a permanent change. Um, secondly, I think we're going to see the same thing on the cloud. I think clients that had you know, three to five year journeys on their roadmaps of how they think about their, their cloud architecture and what workloads they were going to move to the public cloud, almost all of them are saying that now has to be compressed. So I think we're going to see more rapid acceleration and, and adoption and journey to cloud. Um, I think there's some new things that we'll see in terms of blockchain and cybersecurity and others that will also reimagine the landscape of our clients. On the people side, you know, we're, we're adjusting, right? We're going to have to figure out this, this new way of being, this new way of normal, which might be a bit more hybrid than we're used to. Sometime in the office, sometime at home, I fundamentally believe more agile teams, truly agile as a mission. So I think these are just some of the areas that we're going to see uh, a reimagination of how work gets done and what work gets done to make us more resilient, you know, stronger, and to emerge from what has been an immensely challenging period for so many, and, and personally so for so many. Um, how do we take some lessons from this so we emerge stronger? All right, so Michelle, I, I, was, I was looking back at when we first had you on mm -hmm. theCUBE and uh, when you were, you know, just coming on to IBM as CMO, uh, and, you know, you talked then about how you've always worked for digital companies. So here in 2020, the global pandemic, of course, uh, you know, is on everyone's mind, but when people leave Think, how should they be thinking about IBM? It, you, know, it, you know, what is different, you know, uh, and, and what is the same? It's over a hundred year old company, one of the most trusted brands uh, in the industry, mm -hmm. but new leadership with Arvind and Jim. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, how do you want people to think of IBM going forward? I think times of great challenge um, are actually meant for the IBM brand. Um, I think that our clients are looking more than ever for partners they can trust who can help them apply the world's most innovative technology with deep expertise and understanding of how work actually happens across these industries. And with a blanket of kind of security and frankly trusted responsible stewardship um, that matters more. So I hope our clients and our business partners, because we have an immensely rich agenda for our business partners. I hope they emerge knowing that IBM is their essential partner for recovery and for transformation. And there is simply nothing we won't do to help them make their, their business stronger and, and in so doing to build a stronger, more resilient world. Well, Michelle Peluso, congratulations to the team on everything to make Think 2020 Digital mm -hmm. come and uh, really appreciate uh, being able to participate with theCUBE. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for lots more coverage from theCUBE. I'm Stu Miniman.